there is a God. His name is Krishna, okay? There's one God. He appears in different ways to different people. But his name is Krishna, all right? And this mantra is not just his mantra, but it's also Radha's mantra. So when you're chanting this mantra, Hare Krishna, you're calling out to who? Radha Krishna, right? Pranaya, when you're chanting on your beads, why are you chanting on your beads? Good, and it's making you strong and brave, and it's going to make you a good person and strong, and whatever you choose to do, it's going to make you do that very well, all right? It's going to make you be able to deal with problems in life, all right? It's important to be brave, all right? And the reason I'm telling this is because I'm going to tell you, I'm going to end with this, another story of the appearance of Radha. Krishna asked Radha to come to this earth, this world we're in, and she said no first. You know why? She said, and this is in our scripture, in our, they're called the Puranas, Brahma Vard Purana. She said, this world is a very dark, ugly place. It's very beautiful, but there's a lot of bad things. Everyone, like, you know, hopefully you haven't seen too much of it in your life. You're lucky to have good parents, all right? But there's a lot of danger and violence and hate and darkness in this world. And there's also something we call death, all right? Before you were born, you died, right? Mm -hmm. And in the future, you'll probably have to do it again. <laughs> you'll have to die again, but then you can become liberated, all right? So chanting this mantra gives you courage. Radharani said, I'll come to this world if my own best friends come and my best my place. I'm not going to come without my home. And so Radharani's home is Jamuna, Govardhan, the forest of Vrindavan, that's where she plays. So Radharani told Krishna, Pranaya, I'm going to ask you, what did Radharani tell Krishna? She said, I'll come to this world. What did she say? I'll come to this world. If? Yes. Tell me. I already said it. Yes, yes. What, did she, what did she tell? Yeah, you tell me. Yes, what else? Um, if my home's there. Yeah, what is her home? Where she plays? Vrindavan, Govardhan, Jamuna, the forest. Okay, that's enough. And her friends. And her friends. So she told Krishna, I'll only go. This world is an ugly, dark place. There's a lot of violence. There's a lot of hate. There's a lot of war. People die. It's, it's, this world is called the world of death. And so when you're afraid of a monster under the bed or in the closet, it's because there's such a thing as monsters. They exist. Whether they're as a person or as a demon or something. But that's okay. You don't have to be afraid if you chant this mantra. All right, and the reason I'm saying that is because when they talk about Radha, they say that even anyone who's afraid in this world who worships and prays to Radha is free to fear. There's a verse in the Bhagavatam, Canto 10, chapter 49, that says, those who are afraid of material suffering and death, who worship Radha Krishna, they are freed of all fear. And the way we worship Radha Krishna is by chanting this mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama. So this mantra will make you brave and strong, but in the best way. Anybody know the story of Prahlad? Yes. Right? And his father, his father was a bad person. And he didn't believe in God. And when his son believed in God, his father told him, no, that's wrong. His father tried to hurt him, Right? But Prahlad, even though he was Prahlad was five years old. You know the story of Prahlad, right? Yes. Prahlad was five years old. What did he do? He chanted this mantra. What did he chant? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Rama. This name, this is an important thing to learn, okay? The name of Krishna is non-different from Krishna because God is so powerful that he's in his name. And so this name is Radha and Krishna. So if you're ever afraid, you can chant this mantra and Radha Krishna are with you. So Prahlad chanted this mantra and what happened? What did they try to do to Prahlad? How? Tell me, Pranaya. Everyone can tell me one example. Pranaya. Oof. Go. They tried to feed him the poisonous snakes. Sham. Throw him off a cliff. Pita Vas. Yeah. Try to kill him with the elephant. Nice. Garanga. Yes. Anybody else? William's got one. Nice. They tried to kill him with a shotgun of some sort. <laughs> a missile. He was raising his 
Yes. What's the name? Oh, Gurunga already says it. Premanjan is Premanjan. his name. Okay, Atara? Um, didn't she portray the forest's mother to feed him poisonous? She's got all like the dark, cool <laughs> stuff. Good stuff. That's, 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 the, that's the last one he tried. It's the most evil one he tried. It's the most evil one he tried, but what did Prahlad do? Gaur Krishna's got one. Yes. What's his name? What's no your name? Said, no one said uh, um, they put him in a pit of snakes. Yeah. yeah. What's Madhava. your name? Madhava? So did any of that work? Did anything, did, did any, what's, what's his name? He's a, what's his name? Nimai. Nimai. Yes, they had a bunch of demons that tried to poke him. What did he do? with giant boulders. Yeah, they tried to crush him. What did Prahlad do? All together, tell me what Prahlad did. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram, Hare Hare. Did anything work? No. No. Why? He didn't just chant the mantra. This is an important point. Okay, I'm going to ask you this tonight. He didn't just chant the mantra. He believed in the mantra. Okay? So this is an important thing for you to know. It's powerful either way. But believe, I'm going to leave you with this word, okay? Believe in what you believe. It's a very simple conception. 